Former Mets star Lenny Dykstra is fighting back against charges that he threatened to kill an Uber driver. You might remember that mugshot after his arrest last month. Dykstra now claims that he's the victim and it was that Uber driver who kidnapped him. Here's Iowa News reporter Jim Dolan. As Lenny Dykstra crossed Second Avenue today, he was surrounded by enough lawyers and private investigators to fill an infield. Good morning. All right. Good morning, everybody. Dykstra is charged with threatening the life of an Uber driver in Linden, New Jersey last month. Today, his lawyers offered a predictable defense. That morning, Lenny Dykstra was the victim. Prosecutors say Dykstra threatened the driver, and when they arrested him, he had marijuana, cocaine, and ecstasy with him. Dykstra says he was kidnapped by the driver. I was literally in fear of my life, and I called 911, and I was screaming that this man is crazy. He's kidnapped me. He's kidnapped me. I said, what are you doing? What You're going to kill me. What are you doing? And again, you're talking to a guy that has literally planted the flag on Mount Kilimanjaro and slept in the depths of Death Valley. But did I ever... Imagine I'd be kidnapped by an Uber driver. The driver has not been charged with any crime in connection with this case, and Dykstra faces multiple charges, including making terrorist threats. Dykstra says he didn't do it. I mean, all I asked him to do is go to the right destination. He went crazy, and and again, I literally thought this guy was going to kill me. Okay, and he, and then he locked me in the car. I said, "What are you doing? Let me out! Get, get me out of here!" Lenny Dykstra, they called him Nails as a player, has had a restive retirement, facing charges of money laundering, bankruptcy fraud, and grand theft. And now these current charges, he has served time in prison. The driver in this case faces no criminal charges. On the east side, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.